Hello, my name is Andy, and this is my 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Uh, we're here in Long Beach, California, and I figured I'd take you out for a day sail. The name of my boat is Stoked, even though my channel is called Sailing Soleil. I was going to change the name of the boat, but I decided to keep it because every time I go out, I'm pretty stoked. So here I'm just pulling in the fenders, getting the hired ready, and getting all those lines off the floor. Kind of cleaning things up a little bit, and then we're going to get ready to hoist the main. I never raise it from back here. I'm going to try it from back here. Because it is rigged for it. And right here, you're going to see the batten on the mainsail catch on the Lazy Jacks. And that's one of the downsides to the Lazy Jacks, is you got to be careful that those battens don't catch on it while you're hoisting it. But it doesn't do me much good because I don't have a way to clean it off, so I do have to go up there. And what I mean by cleat it off is I don't have a way in the cockpit to tie that halyard down from being loose and then the sail would just drop. I need the cleats back there for my jib sheet, so that's an upgrade I need to do to the boat. All right, let's disengage the autopilot. Flap that guy up and then we'll bear off. Make sure we're good, not gonna hit anything. We're gonna bear off. So this is the first time I've raised the mainsail with this new stack pack. I, I've done most of everything on this boat myself, except for two things. I had a shade made, and then the same person made this stack pack. So we're just gonna bear off here, beam reach. See if we can start sailing. Be right back. Pop it in neutral. And pull that plunger. Now we're sailing with just the main, and we're going pretty slow. That's okay. Not that main. Take care of a couple, a couple errands, a couple chores. So this this reef line is going to need to be redone, but I kind of left it loose because I wasn't sure since the stack pack had been put on where it needed to be. So we'll just leave that there for now. What's cool about this stack pack is he made, I had him, had to pay a little extra for it, but he made this pocket. And he put the lines in there. It's Velcro. Pretty cool. All right, we gotta pull out that Jenny. It's super light wind, so let's see if we can get a little bit of, a couple knots going. That Genoa. All right, release the furler. And the furler's already flaked out on the floor here. See if we've added any speed. We were only going like 1.4 before. Two knots. It's super light wind. Let's see how much wind we've got. We've got 6.7 knots of wind. It says it's coming from our aft quarter, so let me change that up a little bit. should probably have a pole, but I don't ever use a pole. Oh. Not 
not that I don't want to. I'm just, I haven't done it yet. There we go. I kind of want to swing the boom out, but the Genoa is doing so good with it out to the side, I don't want it to starve it. I was heading out of the breakwater and this guy, this guy right here was coming up pretty quick behind me. So I had to flip a 180, get out of his way because that breakwater has only got room for him or that opening. Yeah, good thing I looked back. Right as I turned around, he sounded his horn, which would have definitely told me that he was there. But he's coming in pretty quick. This is the tanker that was coming up behind me, and if you look at that, it looks like Russian uh, symbols on that smokestack. And I just read today that we're exporting a lot of oil.
shuttle and then right across their bow. He's gonna make it. He's a lot faster than we are. You gotta love that. Almost six knots and 11 knots of wind. Man, we are flying. It's fun. This is nice. Too bad we hit the beach if we keep going. <laughs> I gotta turn around a little, a little further. All right, let's take the sail down. Or let's furl it in. I know some of these clips run long, but I wanted you to see how slow it is and, you know, get a feel for all the different little lines and everything that we have to do to manage, you know, like this, releasing that because it got caught and pull this in, put it on the cleat, the jam cleat there. Look up, oh, I'm bearing off a little too much because I was coasting. Um, you know, there's just a lot of little things that go into it but it teaches you really good situational awareness and how to be present. Okay. I guess we could still sail back pretty slow under the main for a minute. Instead of turning on the engine, I'm in no rush. There's a ton of wind noise here, so I took down the volume. What I'm saying is that this is the first time I'm taking down the mainsail with this stack pack and lazy jacks, and um, then I'm gonna turn the motor on. So let's go into irons, straight into the wind. Looking pretty good. What I do is I use the autopilot to keep me on course and keep me in irons, which means I'm going straight into the wind. This keeps the sail from filling up with wind and it will come straight down. There's some tricks to make it come down a little smoother and getting it fully in there, but that was pretty good. Easier than before. All right, so I'm pulling back into the marina and uh, lazy jacks and stack bag work pretty good. Pretty happy with it.
you know, I, it's the first time I ever used it, so maybe, you know, it didn't come all the way down, but I also didn't, the, um, the halyard was a little bit, you know, stuck, not really, but a little bit, just enough to not let it fall down real easy. And when I released it, it came down. Anyways, it worked really good. I'm about to pull into the slip, and then that'll be it. Peace out. And here's where I botched the docking. The wind is coming from my port side, and you can see it's making me drift to starboard. And it pushed me into the uh, side of the slip there. So all I could do was back out. I thought about backing upwind in the fairway and trying again, but then I thought it was just easier to go out to the main fairway, turn around, come back and try again. It's always best to be safe. There's no shame in trying again, keeping everything safe and your boat in good condition. All right, this time I'm gonna take it a little more wide. Yeah, the wind is pushing me. Okay, not my best solo docking, but we're in. Thanks for watching. I guess now that I've made a video, I have to make another one. Um, I've filmed a ton of stuff with the refit of this boat and with just everything I've done to it. It's not like I did a complete refit, but I did a lot of work to it. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of bounce between past and present with some of the videos that I have. Please like it and subscribe. Uh, hope you liked the video and I've got more coming at you. <laughs> it's hilarious.